beloved in Christ, you are welcome to another time in the presence of God. As you are about to listen to this message, get set because God is about to do something very important in your life. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message of today. God bless you. Three platforms for ascribing glory to God. Three platforms were discussing doxazo. How the glory of God is revealed and how God is glorified in the life of the saints. Three platforms. You want to give glory to God through your life? I want to show you how. How does God get glory from the saints? If we have a mandate to translate our experiences with God, to reveal his glory, but then to make him known. Remember my definition of doxazo. Let me define it again for you. To make the dignity and the worth of a person or thing to become manifest and to become acknowledged. If the nations, like we always sing here, become our anthem, if the nations must see Jesus, if the nations must acknowledge that he is Lord indeed, what is the return channel? How does God get glory from the saints? Never forget these platforms you are about to hear. Anybody whose life is about this cannot fail. Cannot fail. Cannot fail. Number one, the first platform for ascribing glory or returning glory to God is when we bear fruit, fruit bearing, producing extraordinary results. Take that for me. You want to ascribe glory to God? Bear fruit. Much fruit. Bear fruit. Produce extraordinary results in your life. And I show you how God is glorified. Extraordinary results. John 15, 8. Herein is our Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit. How is God glorified? Not just when you sing about fruitfulness. Not just when you talk about fruitfulness. There are many people who say, I love you, Lord. I want you to see you glorified. I'm showing it to you now. If your life is not bearing fruit, you are a liar. You don't love God. If you really love God, it's not by a false sense of pretense and religiosity. Bear fruit. Produce results. Extraordinary results. Results in wisdom like I've taught you. Results of power. When the sick are healed through his hand upon your life. When people are transformed. God is glorified. Breathe Lord. Breathe. Breathe Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. See, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest the prayer, your power. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe. It's a prayer. Do you 
know why I sing this song every time? It's not because God gave us. You know the same way Nigerian puts his hand and says, I pledge to Nigeria my country. This is the creed of a witness. Not the creed of a believer. No. You cannot do exploits as a believer. Revelation transitions you from a believer to a witness. When you are a witness, you are empowered. You are enlightened as a believer, but you are empowered as a witness. There is a difference. As a believer, your jurisdiction is enlightenment, illumination. But when God wants to use you, he transits you from a believer to a witness. It is at the point of being a witness, a validator, that you are empowered. So the song says, I receive. It says, I manifest. Because if you receive a loan and you do not manifest, it is not doxazo. I receive by experience, but I manifest as a mandate your power signs and wonders extraordinary supernatural things but the world the cosmos does not just need power alone they need wisdom they need wisdom it is wisdom according to ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10 and then ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 the bible says we are his workmanship then in ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 it says now i like this to the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold not power the manifold the government does not want to see power they want to see wisdom it is wisdom that puts policies wisdom the power drives out spirits but wisdom builds the organizations if the only thing you have is a power to cast to bind oh you will not do much for the kingdom you need power and you need wisdom till the nations see Jesus hold on take it higher for me I like this part of the song because you see you can receive his power you can receive his wisdom and all these extraordinary things begin to manifest that is doxa not doxazo doxazo is when he's glorified through the healing. Doxazo is when he's glorified through the lifting. Doxazo is when he's glorified through your prosperity. When he's glorified through the teaching anointing. When he's glorified, it turns from doxa to doxazo when glorifying Jesus becomes the intent. Many believers have kabod. They have doxa. They have prophetic grace. They have apostolic power. But unfortunately, they have not translated it to help the nation see Jesus. By the time this becomes all about Joshua Selman, a building of empire, a making of names for myself, it may be Doxa, but not Doxazo. The moment Jesus is not the epicenter, if it is not about revealing him and glorifying him, in Koinonia, we say Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified. You can reveal Jesus and glorify self. The mandate was corrupted. It must be Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified. Son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. One of my covenants with God. If you will let men see me, I will take you to places you never imagined you will go. You will stand before kings. You will stand before nobles. They will call you blessed. They will be the first to stretch their hands of fellowship. If you will let men see me. The mandate is not doxa. The mandate is doxazo. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. You have given me this prophetic gift. Lord, show me how you will be glorified in it. By the time you prophesy and people are clapping for you, you remind them that I am an ordinary person. But there is one who is mightier than me. He's the one who deserves the applause. Now you have turned Doxa to Doxazo. You've handed over the glory. You want to see Jesus glorified? Bear fruit. And then when men look at the fruit, point them. Now that you have their attention, point them to him. Points them to him. 
He gave you beauty, Doxa. Use the beauty for his glory, Doxazo. Now he's glorified. Esther, don't be beautiful for nothing. Use your beauty to get to the palace. Use your getting to the palace to take away Haman and then stop the killing of the Jews. Now that is Doxazo. Gideon, don't just use your ability to fight and be hiding. The purposes of God are at stake. Joseph of Arimathea, don't buy a real estate called a grave just for nothing. Make sure you preserve it because that is where Jesus will be buried. And on account of your donating that grave, we will say, oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? Listen to me. I tell you sincerely, I have revealed to you by this sermon one of the biggest secrets in my life. It is beyond my prayer life. It is beyond my fasting life. It is beyond Bible study. Is that I have found the wisdom in the foolishness of stepping out of the way and allow your entire life to be all about revealing his glory. I will sing it once. Then you will join me. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. It's your prayer. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Listen. I receive. I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus till the nations see Jesus till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified listen to me go and register that company with the intention of revealing Jesus whilst you are praying and fasting don't just look for power Lord give me power so that they will know that I'm also a man of God you will waste that fast for nothing be glorified that is the anthem of the believer be glorified through this business Lord I'm trusting you for 10 billion naira 1 billion 1 million 100 million whatever amount and the, the intent is that I will be able to build something that gives you a name the Jerusalem temple would have become a monument but Solomon said now arise O Lord come to your resting place Doxazo. this is not just brick and mortar with gold inside I have built you a house your majesty come take your place sit down let me give you number two we have to wrap up ah, God is walking on someone's heart tonight purifying your motif I sense that after tonight's teaching many people are truly going to begin to see there are doors that is God's hand that has closed it by himself because there are things you need to hear this blind pursuit for money, blind pursuit for results, your results will not bless the nations until you connect your results with the revelation of Jesus. Number two, how does God get glory in the life of the saints? One, by bearing fruit, by producing results. When you produce results, let me tell you the truth. God is glorified when you produce results, extraordinary results, intellectual results, business results, career results, professional results, ministerial results. The end of every argument is results. You can pretend around it, but there is nothing you can do in the presence of results. Genuine results. Two, how is God glorified in the life of the saints? How do we ascribe 
and return glory to God. Are you ready? Number two, longevity of impact. The second way God is glorified is through sustained impact. Sustained impact. Let me tell you the truth. There is nothing that brings reproach to the name of the Lord as rising and causing the nations to see you as representing the image and the name of the Lord then going down. It's better to not even start. One of the ways that God is greatly glorified is when your results last. It gives people enough room to see, to criticize, to probe, and then to repent, to be convinced, and to be converted. When your results don't have longevity, it justifies people's hatred for God. Did you hear what I said? That means if you rise up in ministry today, shouting, doing all kinds of things, and in two, three years, you just go down. People will say, uh-huh, we've told you. God does not lift all the... No, no, no. But if you last, after the criticisms are down, after the naysayings are down, after the ill wishes are down, you are still standing. Sooner or later, someone will start saying, no, this kind of longevity, there has to be a hand in it. The hand of God is the one who sustains results like this. He says, I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord sustain me. Someone say that, for the Lord sustain me. Say it again, for the Lord sustain me. Look up please. I preached a message last year called Ichabod. I want you to go and listen to that message again. Please hear me. Whether you are in ministry, whether you are in business, I pray for you whatever you will make you rise up and when people are about to celebrate god in your life the devil just brings you down satan's mastery satan's profession is looking for those who are high up there in life and business our world is full of people who were once anointed once great once powerful once influential once evangelist once christians longevity John 15, 16. You have not chosen me. Watch this now. But I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bear fruit. Let's read the remaining line. And that your fruit should remain. If every crop that is harvested rots in 24 hours, there will be no storage and you cannot bless people. It is because of the crop's ability to withstand harsh conditions and all kinds of preservation strategies. Is that true? Those of you in agriculture, when you harvest something from the farm, the way it is like that, you, you depending on what crop, you create systems of preservation. Some of you are into poultry. How many of you, not to give you bad memories, but how many of you have seen your birds get to maybe one month, get into two months, and then something happens overnight and hundred birds just die? By evening, hundred more just die. Which one is painful? That they stole your money or that the birds died? Think about it. If the money was stolen, you say, well, may God punish or forgive the thief, whichever one he wants to do. But as for this, I'm not careless. But now you invested time. You invested everything. Just when the harvest was about to come. Nobody goes to your poultry farm and carries a chicken alive and eats it. It is in the chickens or the, the poultry's ability to stay. And then when everything is clean, it is now put in a mall, whatever it is, or served. The chef now does his work there. What we eat at the table it's not the poultry that is alive there. It's the one that has lasted until it got to the table. Let me tell you the truth. Sustainability of impact brings great glory to the name of the Lord. It is one of the reasons why we honor fathers. We honor fathers because they have demonstrated that God can keep men. A man who is celebrating 40 years in ministry, 50 years in ministry. You see that now? There are many people who were not born when they started serving God, people laughed at them and said, you will not stay five years. You will not stay 10 years. I was looking at a dear woman of God, now in her 80s, she was preaching. And I looked at her, I remember years ago, people used to castigate and talk about the woman. Many of those people have died and gone. 
and the woman in her 80s is still preaching. I said, that's right. This is my message. This is how God is glorified. Can I tell you, anybody waiting to hear that you have fallen will wait forever. I say it to you again. Anybody waiting to hear that your company has gone down, that you are no longer anointed, that that prophetic grace is not there, they will wait forever. There is a hand that holds the believer. Except you choose to jump out of that hand by yourself. Now, let me teach you something. Do you know the higher you rise, the more painful the fall? The person who is on the ground, if he just rolls to the other side, he didn't fall, he just rolled. But the more you are elevated, it becomes a fall with respect to your current distance. If somebody falls from the top of this building, you will most likely die. If someone falls, that's why there are almost no survivors in a plane crash because of the altitude. When you have an accident with a bicycle, even a car, it's possible to have survivors. They may be injured, but they'll survive. But from the air, not even with the AIDS, all of those things, most likely they will die. That means the higher you rise, you need to not just study how results are produced, but how you continue to produce results. Are we together? It is the reason why we look up to the fathers jealously and we honor them. Do you know why? The reason is because there is something. We know how to produce results too, but we don't know how to remain yet. They are the ones who will teach us how to remain. And let me teach you, if you are a young minister here, listen carefully. That you have result today does not mean you will have it in 10 years. There is a skill that the fathers have mastered through their pain, through their covenants with God that can help them remain after 20, 30 years. And this is what you must learn. I had a vision many years ago. I was called to minister somewhere. I will not mention the name of the ministry, one of the ministries of our fathers. And when it was time for me to stand in that vision, um, there was no platform like this. You would stand on the pulpit in the vision. Imagine that I had to stand here. And when I stood there, it was shaking. And I was just watching. It was as if I was going to fall. And I saw them, they were just looking and smiling at me. It was as though they were not permitted to come and correct me. But there was a way I could look at them and learn how to stand. Eventually, I found out that there was a way you put your toe that you will stand. And I woke up from that vision. There is a skill to remaining. Respect people whose results have lasted. You are in business, don't rejoice over one year profit. Find somebody who has had 15 years with different governments, 15 years with different people and learn. What does it take to remain when governments change? What does it take to remain when all kinds, there's something you can learn. I pray for you, whatever wants to abort your result, attracting the nations to see God in your life and then you just fall like a pack of cards. May my God deliver you from it. Are we learning? How is God glorified? One, when we produce results, when we bear fruit. Number two, when our results are sustained. Psalm 92, let me show you something. Verse 14, read it with me. One, two, read. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. Say, I receive it. it. One more time. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. And they shall be fat and flourishing. Does that look like your destiny? That it will never be said once upon a time. You see that young lady? She was a great worshiper. You see that young man? If he prophesied upon your life before. No. No. In old age, they shall still bring forth fruit. In the name of Jesus. Number three. How is God glorified through the life of the saints? How do you translate doxa to doxazo? How do you reveal his glory and cause him to receive glory through your life? Are you ready? Testimonies and public declarations of his faithfulness. We're wrapping up now. Testimonies and public declarations of his faithfulness. Psalm 22, 22. Testimonies 
Now you know why we place great value on testimonies. I will declare thy name unto my brethren, it says. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise thee. Psalm 92, 1 to 4. Psalm 92, 1 to 4. Testimonies and public declarations of his faithfulness. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Verse 2. To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Verse 3. Upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery, upon the harp and with a solemn sound. Verse 4. For thou, O Lord, hast made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. Public declarations of his faithfulness. Psalm 96, beginning from verse 1. Follow carefully as I read. Psalm 96. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Verse 2. Sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Watch this. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen. His wonders among all people. For, for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Five, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Six, honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people, Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Verse 8. Give unto the Lord the glory that is due his name. You see there? Give unto the Lord through your testimonies and through the public declarations of his faithfulness. The glory that is due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Final verse. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth let me tell you the truth when God shows you his mercy and you keep quiet you stop him from being glorified did you hear what I'm saying it's important I know we live in a time where sometimes certain testimonies require wisdom are we together now because there are certain testimonies that may implicate you because of the size the nature and the audience you are speaking to, I understand that. But within the boundary of wisdom, it is important for people to know what God has done. I tell you, if people do not know that God healed you, they will not believe he's a healer. If people do not know that God promoted you, when we call for testimonies, next week is miracle service. Every service, when we call for testimonies, is beyond a validation that a man of God is powerful. No. That is the reason why we don't share them in secret. And that is the reason why we give glory to the name of the Lord. Promise will often come up here and say, who is the doer of the testimonies? Now, when you beat your chest and say, I, Joshua Selman, you see all the things that God has done. Now you know I'm anointed. You see, you have stopped him from being glorified. Are we together now? Testimonies. Ten lepers were healed. Jesus was passing, but he remained there. Only one returned back. And he said, sir, I just came to say thank you. And he said, were there not ten of you? In other words, you have stopped me from being glorified. Let me show you something. John 2, 9 and 10. John 2, 9 and 10. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that he made wine, watch this, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, verse 10, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but you have kept the good wine until now. Verse 11, let's read together. Everyone want to read. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory. That's the expression doxazo. Manifested forth his glory. What was the result? The people believed in him. The people believed. The disciples believed. 
There are many people today who have believed in Jesus on account of the manifold testimonies that have come out from this altar. There are people who otherwise they would not believe God lifts except that they saw someone who God lifted who came and said, look at my evidence. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth and I found that Babu Wani Kamaruka. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and I found that Babu Wani Kamaruka. Truly, I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and I found that Babu Wani Kamaruka. There is a way men can see the work of God in your life and you will see someone crying and the person goes down on his knees and say, Lord, forgive me for doubting you. When you told me you could lift my family, I didn't believe you. Here is an embodiment of your faithfulness. Now I believe. The woman said, come see a man who has told me everything. I am transformed, but come and see the man who did it. And the Bible says they came in their numbers. When they met Jesus, they said, now we believe. Not because of what you have seen, for we have seen him. We have a testimony ourselves. There are things that we will continue to do for the kingdom. Through our conferences. Through the teachings of the word. Through the manifestations of God's power and grace. By the time you change, by the time favor begins to work in your life, by the time your prayer life comes alive and you come and stand here before the people of God and say, look at my life. This is my former self. This is who God has shown mercy. Somebody seated somewhere, somebody seated outside somewhere, somebody following online will look and say, my God, I was just about to give up. God is glorified when the saints are not silent about his faithfulness. There is a difference between testifying, declaring his goodness and bragging. Bragging puts you at the center and you direct people to focus on you. It is by my power and the might of my hand that Koinonia is running like this. That is not a testimony. That is pride. God is not glorified in that. Mama, by the time you put four of your children and say, everybody look at this. I was not educated. I didn't go to school. But I prayed a sincere prayer. Say, mother, raise my children. Look at them now. One of them works with the government. One of them is a consultant. One of them is a politician somewhere. One of them is a nation builder somewhere. Somebody will look at a frail, uneducated woman and look at these giants that stand before her. That is a testimony. The person will now open his Bible and say, I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. Now you will understand that scripture because there is an individual that embodies it. For someone you need to say, Lord, I am available. Testify through me. I am available. Let the nation see what you can do through my life. Let the nation see that you can build through my life. You can bless through my life. You can change through my life. You can impart through my life. Every time I come here to preach, I'm motivated by my love for Jesus. Number two, I'm motivated by my love, my passion, my commitment for you. But I'm also motivated by the fact that my standing here will give the nations a chance to once again see what Jesus can do through yielded vessels. Are we together? It is the reason why sometimes, even though it is very uncomfortable to share certain testimonies, we know we are bound with the covenant of revealing his glory. And sometimes we just have to look beyond the perceptions that people have over those testimonies and still tell the nations that he can help men and still tell the nations that he can lift them. By the time you carry your tea and your bread and you lift it up to the nations and say, nations, I was once a hungry person outside. But I believed in Jesus. Look at tea. Look at bread. But this has not distracted me. 
I'm introducing you not to the tea and the bread. The tea and the bread is just an evidence. I'm introducing you to the giver of that tea and that bread. God beats his chest from the throne and says, you did this for me. One million people have been convinced that I am faithful through your witness. It is called doxazo, a display of the grace and the glory of God. When God does great things through my life and through this ministry, sometimes when people send me text messages commending and saying all kinds of nice things, I'm happy and blessed, honestly. But the ones that move me is when they say we have seen God glorified. We have seen my faith has been stirred up. I love Jesus now. I believe in him. I was about to give up. We have been taught that when people serve God, they fail in life. But your life is proving that there is honor to priesthood. There is dignity when men serve God. Now, I begin to feel the joy that is in the heart of the Father. And let me tell you the truth. When your life is determined to reveal him, then he will pour a measure of that glory upon you. And the nations will look at you and wonder, what sort of a man are you? What sort of grace do you carry? What sort of possibilities are you commanding, even by your life? This is what God wants to do in the life of someone. This is what God wants to do. He wants to change you from the inside out. He wants to place a mighty anointing upon you, a mighty anointing upon your ministry, a mighty anointing upon your life so that when men look at you they will see jesus when men look at your business they will see his power don't tell me you're an apostle let me see how jesus is glorified through your apostolic ministry don't tell me you're a prophet don't tell me you're a businessman don't tell me you're a captain of industry don't tell me you're a professional i salute your sacrifice and your investment but he wants to see doxazo a chosen generation a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people called to show forth it's a mandate called to show forth by the time I see how you sponsor the gospel by the time I see how you feed the hungry and those children you gathered from the street can look up and tell the world Hosanna blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord you have demonstrated the love of Jesus in practical terms listen to me ladies and gentlemen the mandate in this teaching tonight is number one to experience the god of the bible and to derive from that experience wisdom to derive from that experience power to derive from that experience wealth among many other possibilities that come from your experience with god and that when god puts you in that position you have it at the back of your mind that you owe it to give him glory. That is the idea of that doxazo. Not just the displaying of his glory, but using your results to direct the attention of men back to him. Unashamedly so, by producing fruits, by remaining longevity of your impact. And finally, by declaring before the nations, as uncomfortable as it may be, you let them know that he can lift men because he lifted me he can bless men because he blessed me he can turn Saul to Paul because he changed my life he can turn Rahab the prostitute to a woman of honor because he took my shame my past whatever and turned me into a sign and a wonder you can tell people that a fearful me as Gideon can become a warrior me as Gideon and they will not doubt because you are the evidence yourself you are not just holding the evidence we are going to pray father i am available be glorified through my life go ahead and pray father i am available be glorified be glorified someone is praying can you sing that song for me be glorified be glorified Fight 
impact. Yes, be glorified through my testimonies, declarations of your mercy and your faithfulness. Look at me. If results, fruits, bring glory to the name of the Lord. If longevity of impact brings glory to the Lord. If testimonies and declarations of his mercy and faithfulness brings glory to the Lord. It then means anything that fights your result is not fighting you. It's fighting God. It then means anything that wants to cut short your impact, that you are up today and down tomorrow, you must see it as an attack against this project of the revelation of Jesus. Anything that robs you of receiving a testimony or having the courage to come and declare his faithfulness must be antichrist. That becomes your final prayer point. Everything that wants to fight results in my life, Everything that wants to fight longevity, someone you are about to pray. Anything that wants to fight my testifying before the people of God, I come against it now. Go ahead and pray. Dog Zazo, be glorified. The glory of God revealed through the results of the saints. The glory of God revealed through the wisdom that emanates from the saints. The glory of God revealed through the manifestation of his power in the saints the wisdom of God the power of God the wealth of the kingdom the favor that flows from believers extraordinary supernatural results results that cause men to wonder demonstrating that God is at work in the world of men God is at work in the midst of men God is at work in his body in his church God is at work in the midst of his ministers take one final minute to pray be glorified be glorified be glorified let your glory be revealed be glorified Doc Zazo. I make the nations by my results Respect and accord you the glory that is due your name. By the power and the strength of your life, your wisdom, your favor, your beauty that flows through our lives, that flows like a river through Koinonia. Let the nations know you are God. Let the nations know you are king. Let the nations know you are deliverer. Let them know you are healer. Let them know you are restorer. Let them know you are lifter. Let them know you can bless men. Let them know you can assist a man. You can help men to rise. You can bring dignity to men. I'm about to speak over your life. Please listen. This is the reason why I speak over you every time. This is the reason why there is a miracle service next week. It is the reason why we labor in the word in prayer and in doctrine. So that line upon line, week in, week out, under this grace, you are handed the keys by mercy. It is the reason why he has made us sufficient in his mercy so that we are able to raise a people who can bring him glory this revelation doxazo must stay in your mind it is not enough for the nations to see his glory you must use the result to draw many to him you must hide behind the cross and let men see him unashamedly that becomes the key to your survival in this end time the marketing of flesh will be the undoing of many great men consciously or unconsciously directly or indirectly our hearts must be stayed at revealing Jesus now the blessing I speak over you in the name that is above all names 
according to first corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 second corinthians 9 and 8 it says and god is able to make all grace abound whether you are in business in ministry politician captain of industry an entrepreneur whatever i decree and declare every dimension of grace it will take for your life to command fearful results in this season may that anointing rest on you in this season may that unction rest upon you rest upon your business rest upon your ministry rest upon your family rest upon your children rest upon your spouse rest upon the works of your hands in the name of jesus i speak over your life no going down i say it again no going down the power that fights your remaining goes down for your sake the power that fights your reputation goes down for your sake the power that fights your testimony goes down for your sake it will be good news all the days of your life from one stride after another one result to another you will never plateau in life you will never plateau in destiny in your finances go forward in your relationships go forward your prayer life go forward fasting go forward your word study go forward in character go forward in the name of jesus extraordinary wisdom let it rest upon you the power of the holy ghost causing you to walk in extraordinary dimensions let it rest upon you hear me wealth by your value and wealth by favor through relationships this double sworded this this two edged sword of wealth by relationships and by value let it gravitate towards you men will arise to help you arise to help your children and hear me every spirit assigned to cut short your life i decree and declare both the human and spirit agents they go down for your sake wave your hands to jesus and give him praise we bless you and we honor you you're my glory the lifter up of my head he is my glory the lifter up of my Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Thank you. We are very, very appreciative of your presence in this community. This is a community of believers. We are here to enlighten ourselves through the word of God, through practical life applicable teachings. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel. If you have not liked this video, Please just take two seconds and just hit that like button and share this video with others to bless someone just as you have been blessed by this video. It is only God that can do the impossible. And when you are faced with impossibility in your life, the only place to run to, the only person to run to is God. And that is why we encourage ourselves to keep studying the word of God, to keep praying, fasting, to keep meditating on the word of God so that God will come through for us. Have a nice time. God bless you. See you in another of our video. And there are so many videos that we have posted so far. Go through our channels. Go through our channel and check on our videos and see how impactful they are going to be in your life. Thank you. God bless you. Keep shining for Jesus. Keep shining for God. Peace.